Welcome to New Soft Technologies Medical Practice Management Podcast Series. I'm Lindsay Coates, and today we're discussing security and how safe your data is inside your EHR and practice management system. Our featured speaker is Dr. Sharm Famorzada. He's the CTO here at New Soft Technologies, and I'd just like to welcome you aboard. Thank, thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. Security issues have long been a concern of users of practice management and EHR systems, and many think that they're going to lose access to their data, it's going to be lost in cyberspace forever. Another major concern is the private patient data getting into the wrong hands. This is one of the reasons HIPAA was enacted nearly 15 years ago now for the electronic use and transmission patient-related data. So, Sharm, today we're really kind of talking about the concept of software as a service. Okay. How is working with a cloud computing vendor or SaaS vendor more advantageous for a practice as opposed to, you know, if you want to remain HIPAA compliant? There are a lot of different aspects to being HIPAA compliant. A couple of the areas that are Im impacted are technical uh, safeguards and physical safeguards. With the technical safeguards, it's how do you technically make sure you, that your data is safe. Now, both client server and SaaS do offer services to ensure that your data is safe. But where SaaS or cloud computing it has an advantage is that the vendors right. are responsible to make sure that the network is secure and that intruders don't get access unauthorized access to the data, where if you were hosting this in your office, you had to make sure that your network is secure. Now, the majority of practices out there really don't have a very tight management of their network. Right. You usually, all they do is order a DSL line or a cable line that they get in, put up a wireless router somewhere, and they start using it. And they have different IT guys who come in and try to manage that network for them. The exactly. Doing. And sometimes some, somebody opens up a port that, that nobody knows about, and that could be the way in. Actually, these are practices who actually do have somebody taking care of it. God forbid if your office manager is the person who set up the router. You don't even know <laughs> if you're communicating securely. So right. anybody just parking on the site could probably pick up and get into your network. Now with the SaaS, what happens, your data is being stored somewhere else. And that network is, is the responsibility of the vendor to secure that data. And when you access your data remotely, it's all encrypted. It's guaranteed encryption. It's got nothing to do with your wireless router. The encryption is provided by the service. Okay. It's just like you when you log into your Bank of America or your, your bank remotely. You always have a secure connection right. for transferring the information back and forth. The SAS alleviates that responsibility to make sure that your network is secure. And then additionally, with the physical safeguard, if I go to my doctor's office, it, it is secure, but it's not that secure. There are people going in and out, left and right, and the server is just sitting somewhere in the back office. All it takes is somebody going in that room and getting access directly to the data that is on the back end, and they can pull as much information as they want. And that, that becomes the responsibility of the practice. And that would be a HIPAA violation because they didn't make That's that it. environment. With cloud computing and the SaaS vendors, majority of them have their data hosted in a premier data center. These are buildings that are just like Fort Knox. Most of them don't have windows. They have fences all around the building. All your data is stored in cages that require keys that you get from the security guard. So those are the sort of uh, physical security that is provided by a SaaS because your data is hosted there. That a Very practice can yeah, exactly. For a practice exactly. To do it. NewSoft is definitely HIPAA compliant and yeah. within the letter of the law. What exactly does that mean? Being HIPAA compliant, it actually that, that's a loaded question. But some of it was what we just talked about. Making sure that the data is safe, both physically and over the network. Additionally, the software itself has to provide a set of safeguards to make sure that, for example, only authorized users get access to certain information. But that's the quality of software. It really doesn't make any difference whether you're client server or SaaS. It's just whether your application provides that functionality gotcha. or not. But with the SaaS, like I said earlier, you have the additional benefit that your data is hosted and secured in a very, very safe environment. Other than making sure that protected health information transmitted electronically is secure, there's another concern that a lot of people have with cloud or SaaS vendors, and that's that their data is just going to get lost. Right. And they're just, it's going to be gone forever. And how do we or um, SaaS vendors protect against that? One point I want to make is when you go put your money in the bank, just because you don't see it, 
because it's just because you don't touch it. That doesn't mean your money will get lost or is less secure. I don't know many people who stuff their pillows with, <laughs> with loads of cash Not because anymore. they feel it's uh, secure. You know, you, you go ahead and put it in the bank. It's the same situation with your data. Uh, we are the banks for, for the practices. And we go out of our way to make sure the data is secure. And we go out of our way to make sure possibility of data loss is to, to such low levels that's almost impossible. And then to give you an example, for each record that we store, we have eight copies. They are scattered over multiple secure locations. And the reason is if there is a, a major disaster and one of the data centers is destroyed or is made inaccessible, our clients still need to have access to the data. So usually what happens is at the lowest level, the data is mirrored at the disk level. From there, the data is mirrored again to a different set of servers locally. At the same time, the data is replicated across to another data center where the same format uh, repeats. And a backup of the data is made at both sides for both copies. And real-time replication of the data you can rest assured that your data will be accessible. So even though you may not have access from your computer immediately, like your internet connection goes down, your, right. your data is still there. Right. Nowadays, you, you can have wireless modems. Right. So you can get access over the air so that you're not tied to the only the landline. So I think for the most part, losing uh, internet connectivity, what we've seen is really not an issue. Right. Uh, it, it doesn't happen because, you know, in, in the old days, we would have modem connections okay. because our application is so efficient that we can even work over a 56k modem but nowadays we, we recommend a a, for, uh, yeah exactly <laughs> and a wireless backup uh, over the air 3g or 4g uh, connection so I don't think internet connectivity is an issue and if for whatever reason it, and these things do happen I mean the backbones do go down the mm -hmm. internet backbones if they, that does happen because we have multiple data centers, you can still get access to your data. Okay. And if we have issues, you know, we're not perfect every now and then. There, there, there may be a service okay. interruption, which is, I think we are five nines or six nines right now, as far as availability goes, which is, I think, is less than an hour of unavailability in a year. If that happens, we provide read-only access right away. You still, you still have access to your data. You, you see your appointments, you see all your patient records, you see all of that. Okay. You may not be able to modify it during the, the, you know, like I said, less than an hour in a year if it happens. These are some of the things that we can provide. Where, where if you were hosting yourself, God forbid if your server goes down, I mean, you're a host. Right. You know, how long is it going to take before you have it rebuilt? A lot of people get nervous about not having their files right. stored. You know, they feel a little bit safer with the being there in the office. Right. But the safety of that data is is a major versus issue. The internet right. system. Right. We, we provide backups for the practices. We'll put them in the standard formats. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we use XML as a way to, to structure the data. We provide it as often as they want. So they can have their copies of the data. Well, we don't recommend it because then it becomes a responsibility. So just because you got the data, now you got to go out of your way to make sure that data is secure. And it really doesn't do anything for you. Because uh, what are you going to do with it? Right, except to lose it. I don't know <laughs> what else you're going to do with it. You're, you, you already have access to the data all, all the time. What, so what, not having it in your possession at the office is almost safe a benefit. And, yes, exactly. We're talking about confident, reputable SaaS vendors. Is there any other closing thoughts that you can leave us with about security or new MD in general? Uh, other than that, we also have a HIPAA podcast from March that has additional information. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah. and those will be available on our website. John, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you for speaking with me, and uh, we appreciate you all listening in. We look forward to you joining us in 2011, where we'll have a whole new series and host of topics. We're starting in January with Mike Volpe of HubSpot. He's huge in search engine marketing, and hopefully it'll help you with your practice, getting it off the ground, and getting your marketing efforts going. I'm Lindsay Coates, and have a safe and happy new year.